we were doing Rawa right, right, for two summers at the park, Prospect Park, and then the coup happened. Haiti's president falls and flees. Monday, the Haitian military overthrew that country's democratically elected president. I was at home. Other people were calling and like, hey, they, let's go to the monument. The men will gather in front of the UN. Everybody was pissed off at that time. A lot of people crying, a lot of people cursing too. No more coup d'état. Justice for my country. Freedom, respect for my country. Vive Jean Bertrand Aristide. When the Asian community here considered the overthrow Aristide as a blow against its own interests, what he was fighting for, because they all knew why they came here. They knew they came from a society that denied them their basic rights. The election of December 1990 that brought Aristide to power raised Asian hope to the roof. But America and the oligarchy, after seven months later, had other plans for Haiti. It was sad too for this country, you know, a country like Haiti, because people were waiting for something new. That moment, we you just like, let's use the power of that gathering we usually do to carry on a message. Who do we want? Who do we want? Who do we want? By the time the community itself was maturing and uh, organizing in broader terms, at that point, Rara was becoming more and more prevalent. It's like our civil rights movement. Well, we were shouting to Bernard Wissi back. That demonstration turned into something bigger than what we were expecting. It's turned out to be we are voicing our concern against the way we were portrayed in the media here. People start to, pro to protest, you know, about the issues that they facing, they be facing in New York. Yeah, people were tired of the AIDS level, immigration, deportation, police brutality, you know. The Bush administration's efforts to send Haitian people home came under fire. Thousands of people marched through the city's little Haiti neighborhood. Hundreds of Haitians from New York and New Jersey gathered in Washington today to protest their lack of equal rights. They wanted to express themselves to say, no is no, enough is enough. In the context of community issues here, such as immigration, police brutality, AIDS accusation, all Haitians were thrown in the same pot, whether you were rich, educated, Light skin, dark skin. Everybody come to the protest and everybody see the rara. For some other people on the crowd, it was the first time they have met the rara band. The Haitians who are mostly from the upper class, actually I'm assuming that some of them got embarrassed at first that other people were looking at the demonstration, that they were embarrassed, that people would be wondering, what the hell are the Haitians doing? They demonstrating against a terrible incident, such as police brutality or abuse of rights in Haiti, and here they are dancing in the streets. Comment what those people are doing here, they don't know what, what, what the protesters are all about. We come here to, to party. But the idea it was it's party, the idea is to strengthen. It's become more than a rara, it's become more than a march. It become the survival of Haitian in New York. Because this rara, so like Vodou, not only was an expression of Haitian culture, it was an expression of, of resistance. It was actively affirmation, an active affirmation of one's old culture against um, uh, uh, a dominant society that told or uh, uh, telling you every day that that culture was worthless. They may don't like the Rara, but when the Rara is there, anything bad they used to say about the Rara, they forget all about it. And therefore, he gave these, these Haitians an opportunity at least to be reflective and question it and question themselves.